My name is Rosie and I'm a Paintings and Frames Conservator at Art Lab Australia in Adelaide. What I do in my job is I repair paintings that have been damaged and frames that have deteriorated because they're old. So we have to solve how it was made and how we stop it deteriorating and how we get it ready for exhibition or presentation to the public. And we also have to work out how to store them safely. So every single thing we do is about problem solving with individual objects on a case by case basis. I've worked with a lot of different types of paintings with different values, monetary values, but sentimental values as well. So while a painting may not be worth a lot in, in monetary terms, you know how important they are to individuals and, and often that can be just as important as something that is a showpiece in an art gallery exhibition. I have to say when I, first of all, got into conservation I was quite concerned about the chemistry side of it in that we often need to make up solutions and chemicals and we need to know percentages and how things react with um, one another but when you're directly applying it to objects it just makes so much more sense. In our analytical lab here, we use the equipment to determine what materials are to help us with treatment steps. With the FTIR machine, we can tell you if there's egg yolk in something, we can tell you if there's protein. With the XRF machine, we can tell which pigments they are and, and identify metals. Um, people want to be sure that an artwork they're buying is real. And if they don't have provenance, they want to know the materials are specific to the period it was created. And it can be our role as a conservator to inform or educate the owner as to what would be the best way to proceed with the treatment. I think with ethical issues, we come back to that conservation restoration question again about how far do you go in a restoration. Sometimes the ageing um, and lifetime and life marks on objects are what's really important rather than having something that's brand new. So you need to come up with some sort of balance about how you treat things. I think that cultural objects since the beginning of time have been very important to, to people and people want to go back to these things. It's where we place ourselves in society and that's what we're doing. We're safeguarding these things so that the future generations can look at them because they will, because that's what we've done since the beginning of time. I think we might be lost without our objects and things. A totally amazing thing I get to do in this job is go into the art gallery after hours with no one else in there and I can have a look at everything close up. Nobody tells me to back up, move away from the painting, and often we go in there and treat works before and after hours when they're on the wall, just getting ready for exhibitions and that's pretty amazing to do that. Knowing that I get to handle all of these special objects every day and also the people that I work with every day are really amazing and that's what really makes a good workplace. I feel lucky every single day that I come to work.